come let me show you how to make cupcakes for your family and for commercial purposes yes <laughs> welcome back guys i feel uh, you know how we do it i'm super excited to do another tutorial and one of my sweet um subscribers actually requested for this video and guys i've made this video for about a week or two now and i've not had time to upload and i'm today i said whatever the case may be i'm uploading this video today 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 today, today. <laughs> so let's get straight to it now in this video i'll be showing you what i use to preserve my cakes so usually i don't preserve i don't use preservative for like my whipped cream cakes and my regular cakes that i deliver on a daily basis i don't so but when i used to do commercial cupcakes i have what i used to preserve it so now if you have a cake that maybe is for your household and you want to consume it for three or four days you just put it in the fridge the fridge will serve as a rep like as a preservative it's not going to go bad but if you're going to leave your cake of the chef like you're going to put it on a tabletop for a week or more then you have to preserve so i don't use preservative for my cakes now presently because i do more whipped cream cakes now i expect even it's on my care card that your cake is meant to be consumed within 48 hours because it's whipped cream you don't need to put it forever in the fridge so i inform my customers about that all the time so but there's something i used to use before so i'm going to be showing you in this video so you just need to watch the very end so i don't use preservatives like the normal one that is tacked preservative i use something else so you're going to see it in this video so i'm going to list the ingredients that i use for this cupcake in the video so you can go through it and make for yourself so i just added vegetable oil to the mix so i mixed my margarine and sugar and i added a tablespoon of vegetable oil just so to make it soften a bit so now this is what i was talking about it's called Azorbic acid in some pack you see azorbic written on it so it's the same thing so this is what you can use to preserve your cake so that it stays for like several days or more and you're still going to have the same taste the same texture without it tasting bad at all so one other thing i used to have in when i used to do cakes like this is lemon zest so this is another magic so you can either use any of them but because of this video i used both so that um i don't have to do another video all right so um this is what you can also use to preserve your cake lemon zest and the juice maybe like a tablespoon works very well for preservative your cake is not going to go bad if you notice mostly for fruit cake they always use um the recipe I always called for lemon zest is some sort of preservative as well so i go in i added my baking powder and salt and please don't always keep your salt when you're baking it's very very important because it reduces the sweetness of the sugar now i'm just going to mix this together and combine so that being said the next time you want to bake a cake and you want it to stay lunch much longer rather get azorbic acid so i heard is safe elsewise i heard that the other one that is called preservative you can check it up online that is not healthy it's not even good for human consumption so i read it one time about two years ago and after that i had completely trashed it i don't use it for my cakes anymore so but if you have something like this that you want to do something like this that you want to be selling you need something that will keep it fresh so this azorbic acid works one time that i went for an upgrade class and we we're told to bake a lot of lot of lot of cakes because we we're going to do uh, like i went for a wedding class wedding cake master class so we we're told to bake a lot of cake so that was the first time i came across this thing this azorbic acid because me i've not used it before i don't even know about it and because i read one time that you don't um preserve your cakes with preservative that's very bad to the earth you know that i will someone even the post said it was cancerous hey since then i've stopped using it <laughs> so i went for a master class and one um 
one of the students that attended the class used this azorbic acid. So the reason why we got to know was, you know what, we resumed the first day for the master class because we came in with freshly baked cakes, so they were told to place it on their cake racks. And we started decorating this cake maybe like the fourth day and the class was for a week. So by the seventh day, when some of us were trying to cut into our cake, they were already smelling somehow and they were already going bad. But this particular student, the moment she cut through her cake, uh -uh, everybody started eating her cake too. The thing was just the way it was. The, like it was like the cake was just they just baked it that morning. And this particular cake has been sitting off the shelf for six days. So that was the first time I came across this azobic acid. And ever since then, if I have a cake that wants to stay much longer, this is what I use. I don't use the one that is termed preservative anymore. So I think I'll be able to explain what that what it does. So that's what that's the work of that azobic. So your texture of your cake remains the same. It doesn't, nothing changes. That's the word. Nothing changes at all. So if you have someone like, if you want to do way B for cakes, okay, maybe you've not done it before. Me, I way B cake sometimes, but as during the December period, yeah. You know, people want to travel. They want to go far with cakes. You can just put azobic acid in it. And I guess, you know, it stays for as long as the person wants to. All right, our cupcakes is ready. So whenever I'm doing videos now, I've, <laughs> I've told myself that I'll be explaining in depth so that you gain one, two, three lessons from a particular video because we're here to help each other to learn and to to grow. So if you're watching this video or you're just um uh, seeing my page for the very first time, kindly do well to subscribe, please. Now this is the cupcake. So this cupcake, this particular one that I made for the course of this video is for my babies. So this is what we're using for our back to school. So you know it's new resumption section and we're going to be using this for their lunch boxes for school. So it works either way. If you want to bake it for your family, if you want to sell them, please, this recipe works for you. And you see the way the cakes come out. You see, where the, you see the way it turn out. It's very fine and fresh. Please don't over bake it and let it stay in the oven. You will not end up with something like this. So this, if your cupcake is looking fine like this, you will be able to sell it, right? Yes, you will. <laughs> so you will wrap them almost immediately because it's sponge cakes, it's um, margarine-based cake. It doesn't want any hair penetrated into it. The moment it's coming out from the oven, just wrap it up. The same way if you're going to sell, just wrap it up with clean firm until you start packaging it maybe in other single line that you want to use to sell fine but make sure it's properly wrapped airtight wrap that there will be no air that will penetrate into it so guys that is it about the copy so this particular one i'll just put it in the fridge and whenever we need it for lunch boxes we we'll just go and pick it from the fridge so i'll be seeing you in my next video grab the recipe on the description box See you next time. Bye.